So, madam, have you been busy being in other people's business here lately? Man, you know me. I, I was enjoying Easter. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Happy Easter. Easter. Thing. Happy <coughs> Easter. He is yeah. amazing. All right. Um, but 50, started 50 in and doing what he does. I just believe 50 Cent is like one of the biggest trolls on social media. And he, his ex bandmate, uh, Young Buck, who's a rapper, and another guy, Benzino, who's also a rapper, he is constantly on Instagram calling these dudes out, calling them gay. <laughs> one of them even had a transgender come after him, uh, talking about <clears throat> she tired of being hidden. And the dude, Benzino, was like, That's not true. I'm straight. I'll always be straight. And told wow. 50 to keep coming for him. And he want to challenge. 50 cent. But my question to you guys is these brothers, first of all, should 50 be allowed to do this in 2022 when the LGBTQIA, let me be honest, y'all a little sensitive. Yep. Can't nobody say nothing about you without you getting in your feelings. And old 50 cent don't seem to care. He'll say whatever. He called them punks. He told him, don't be slapping nobody on the butt when you play basketball. Yeah. And, and he is just coming off straight homophobic couple questions do you think he needs to chill before he get canceled or does he even care and number two how y'all feel about these new transgender women out in these dudes because one of them got caught at a red roof in and now you know i just think sometimes when there's some smoke it's some fire i i, I gotta ask black lads because i just i'm, I'm afraid <laughs> i'm afraid but granton <laughs> i'm gonna start with you with, uh, I'll say this at least at least 50 in his in his lane. See, T.I., get in get your lane. 50 Cent is funny in his lane. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna make fun of the people that he's close to, and he better be careful if you keep making fun of Mayweather. It looks like Yaya are gonna give you something, bro. So you better watch it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I'll say this 50 Cent is funny because he does it the only way that he can do it. Uh, you know, my problem is you gotta be careful. Uh, when you start talking about people that's been in your circle because they know your business, you know what I'm saying? And so I don't, I don't know what 50 into or what he ain't into, but you know, you know, at some point these boys gonna get tired of you beating them over the head, you know what I'm saying? And making fun of them and you know, all, you know, anyway, it just, just ask Eddie. <laughs> oh, but, here but we go. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Is I'm gonna say the most homophobic <laughs> out of you know, out of you check the Hispanics now. True. Um, and you know, I mean, because because we still the well, the older folks that I know of, we still mm -hmm. refer to to gay people as homosexuals. Mm -hmm. We can't even quite call them, you know, gay yet. Ken, what you think about that? You think we, we he taking a risk or it is just not a biggie? Man, 50 Cent is the most, he's the biggest <laughs> troll, the most professional troll on the internet. He ain't got no chill and he ain't no. going to stop uh, mm -hmm. because you know, because he's the thing. He's going to always get that attention. People going to always give him that attention. That's kind of like the, the class clown or whatever in class. If they if they clown and they're getting attention and people paying attention to him, they're going to always keep doing what they're doing. And, fit, and I have to say this, I have to be honest, 50 Cent is a pretty damn good troll. He's a pretty funny dude when he be trolling. And I can't, I can't even front. I be getting sick of his stuff sometimes. I say, damn, 50, he, he on somebody neck again. Uh, so, but but that's just what he do. He's not gonna be canceled. I mean, even if he get canceled now, 50 don't care. I mean, he got power and all these other stuff he got going on. So 50 good, got alcohol and all that. So he good. Now, on the second part of your question, I think, I think. The trans, the transgender stuff for for straight men. I think that's one of the biggest things for us, for a straight men. Mm -hmm. You don't ever want to be associated that you're trying to holler or get with a transgender or uh, uh, dude. That's mm -hmm. that that that's nah, man. You ain't getting ready to put that one on me. So I think it is some straight men that go down that road though. They like playing on second base. Let's go and keep it funky. It's a lot of straight men. They do like the, but they don't want nobody out them like that. They don't want it to be shown. Just like Brent said, a lot of times we, the, the people in your circle know your business. And, yeah. And when you get out of it like that, yeah, they're going to feel some type of way. So, um, I, you know, 
I just say 50, man. Y'all leave 50 cent alone. Young Buck, go on, file your bankruptcy, man. <laughs> leave, that, leave that dude alone. Because he going to keep, he going to, and Benzino, Benzino, bro, go ahead and stop, bro. You know, you ain't even got no neck. You ain't even got no neck. Where your neck at, Benzino, bro? Stop. And that's I ain't hating, funny. but you ain't even got no neck. So that's my, that's how I look at it. Mm. All right, these these trans transgender women are out in these dudes and fifties trolling them, and we don't know what it might be doing to these dudes mentally. But I just need to know, Black, <laughs> how do you feel about the troll fifty doing what fifty does best? I love it, and I respect it a mm. thousand percent. You know, number one, I agree with you, brother Kenny. True massages. Uh, he's, he, he's good at it, and I'm definitely a. Uh, uh, misogynist you know yes, I'm, a, I'm a male chauvinist i'm all of those things you know uh but 50 is, is is brilliant at it and he's proving you know the same thing dave Chappelle and i mentioned last week jk Rowling is proving not not everybody's going to get canceled we mm -hmm. we live in such fear of what we say now and that one demographic has such power i admire them for standing up against it so uh, as far as 50 Cent, I love what he does. He's using the the the, the platform of social media in, in the way that they use it now to his benefit. And let's be honest, Young Buck really did get caught with what was, you know, somebody from another from another agenda. The reality is for me is that I think I've been saying this for a while. I don't think there's such thing as gay and straight anymore. I think people like what they like when they like it. I happen to live in Atlanta, Georgia, where this is they're wide open here you know with it you know having said that the transgender uh, uh community they're just too damn sensitive for me you know what i'm saying and so on the one hand you want to be treated equal so i i think we have the right to make fun of you how come when it comes to you that we gotta stop and be careful what we say you know so i have a problem with that now as far as people liking it i think it happens a far more often than people want to really it really admit it so i think as it's a lot more of it's going on than people really want to admit it i firmly believe that when it comes down to it you know a lot of people will do what makes them feel good you know having said that you know that's not my particular cup of tea i don't understand it's, it's complete lunacy you know in it i don't want no no man that looks like a woman they got a pita between his legs you know that just don't make no sense to me whatsoever you know but we we have such mixed up stuff going on out here that it is creating an era where people are being exposed. But you said it best, system. The African American community, we're the last ones who are still holding on to those vestiges of embarrassment. Everybody else is pretty much wide open. But in our culture, and we're told as men, you know, that we don't want to dare get caught. But it happens uh, all the time. You know, I'm from New York City. P. Diddy has it, it's well known. That he goes both ways right here in atlanta usher goes both ways this is wide open now this is not even a, 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 a allegedly ale allegedly tfg tonight. allegedly okay yes allegedly y you're right so that's the best way to say it. <laughs> but it's, 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 these, are, these are things that are not even really big secrets here you know uh, oh. Mm. I have been out the loop, and I mean oh, out the right. loop. Well, what's not a secret to Atlanta was a big secret to me, because I ain't know <laughs> about yeah, nice. you and me both. none of that. Not, a, me not a, nothing of that. You the know? lawsuit that Usher's engaged in, one of the, the, the so-called John Doe's, is a man that he alleged, allegedly gave an STD to. But it's it's not even that big of a deal anymore. T.I., since we talked about T.I., him and his wife get down. You know what I'm saying? It's way more open than people really want to admit. I've heard the, la the last level is the alphabet community, you know, who, you know, they want to be special. And I saw something that made me sick to my stomach. Dwayne Wade's little old he, she kissing some girl and he, he the girl and he kissing a, a white one. That's the boy, but she's really a girl. This shit is so damn mixed up. It don't even make no sense. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So all I want to say is if you have beef with 50 Cent, be careful. I need you to make sure that you <laughs> keep your business, your business. Because he gonna make sure he troll the heck out of you on social media. So you just need to walk real, 
real sneaky like if you got anything with 50 because he gonna put it out there and he don't care and people don't seem to care because the comments i read on his thing were just ridiculous but yeah i'm gonna leave 50 alone and go back to minding my own business <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>